guys. Uh, today we're going to take a look at statements of retained earnings. Uh, they're really simple. Let's just go ahead and get started. So you can see here we got the statement of retained earnings, and uh, there's only four boxes to fill out. Uh, the question is, what was retained earnings before, and what are retained earnings now? So let's start with retained earnings before. Uh, we can get that from the given section. So previous retained earnings from last year, 28,854. All right, 28,854. So 28,854, perfect. Okay, so then what's the net income before dividends? Well, again, we've done this before. Net income before uh, preferred dividends, 46,373. Um, 46. 473, I believe that's what I said. Forgot the comma. Yep, 373. I was wrong. Okay, and then dividends paid to stockholders. Okay, so we paid a thousand here and 8,600 here, so that's uh, 9,600. You could do it like this equals this plus this. 9600 so what are my retained earnings um, and so this needs to be negative sorry I forgot about that so I'm gonna make it negative remember uh, all you gotta do is whoops need some parentheses my bad put those in parentheses change this to financial Take down the decimals. Now it's in parentheses. That's the way we like it. Um, so you might have seen me make a mistake here. I'm going to show you again. So if I go up here and just click this plus this and press enter, uh, then what, what the mistake I made was is I put a negative right here. Uh, and that made just this negative. So that's why I had to put parentheses around it to make the whole thing negative. It should be the same, just a negative version. Okay, now we add all this up. And that's my retained earnings, which uh, of course we've already seen, it matches these numbers right here. Okay, so this is a little bit different than this, but the numbers in the end are the same. Okay, so let's take a look at one more. This time you'll get a chance to uh, answer some questions as we do it. I'm going to zoom in for you. Okay, so we've got this uh, retained earnings here, net income, dividends paid, retained earnings again. So we need to see what our previous retained earnings were. In fact, we can go ahead and find that right here. We don't have to go all the way over since we know the statement of stockholders equity uh, is almost the same here. A lot of the values are. So here's my previous retained earnings. In fact, I'll even just press equal there. Uh, net income before preferred dividends. Okay, so we don't want to match this number though. This number net income is different than net income before preferred dividends. So net income before preferred dividends right there. So 72,309 so equals 72,309. Dividends paid to stockholders. That's going to be all the dividends. So it's going to equal the common plus the preferred. Again, I need to make that negative. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put negative parentheses around it. And then I'm gonna change all three of these to financial because it seems to be they're all doing something different. Perfect. And then finally down here we have our retained earnings. So add all three of these up because of my previous retained earnings plus the money came in minus we spent some money for the, the dividends, all that together is my new retained earnings and these numbers match. All right, so that was quick and fast. Uh, if you want more of an explanation as to what's going on here or you want to see it a little slower, just let me know. Um, and if that's it, then uh, I'll see you next time. All right.